All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Steven Aldaco, and in today's video, we're testing out the dog walking side hustle. I've been living in my Honda Element for the past two years. I'm on vacation in Hawaii, so that's why the scenery is a little bit different, but I wanted to take some time to make this video. In today's video, we're testing the dog walking side hustle, specifically using the Rover application. A quick introduction to Rover, it's an application which you can use to meet up with people who need services for their dogs. Services like dog walking, house sitting, and then also if you have the space in your home, you can become kind of like a dog hotel. Now I love dogs and I was super curious if this is still a really good side hustle so I'm happy to test it for you all and make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video where I'll give you the results of how much money I made by using the Rover application. Getting started with Rover is super simple. There's an application that you download on your phone. After you download the application, you add in some information about yourself and there's a $30 background check which you have to fill out to make sure you're not some sketchy dude trying to walk these dogs. And then after that, there's a quick and easy test to make sure you actually know what you're doing with the dogs. It's super simple, it takes about 10 minutes and then right after that, you're approved and ready to start walking dog. Now the hardest part about the Rover application is reaching out to get clients and I used a couple strategies that you can use on your own to help get potential clients. Number one is I use Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to put an ad up for people who need dog walking and house sitting services. Number two is I undercut the market in pricing. So people were charging $22 an hour, $19 an hour. So I dropped my rate to $15 an hour. So this way I can build up a clientele. And then once I have a clientele, I can then increase my prices. The last thing I did is I have prior experience watching people's dogs and house sitting for them. So I sent an email to all of them to go onto the Rover app and leave me a really nice review. And I think that was very helpful in booking my first few clients. So clients will start reaching out to you via the Rover app. And the first thing you have to do is a meetup. And a meetup is not a paid thing, but you go and meet the dogs, make sure you're gonna vibe with them and vibe with the owners. And then during that meetup is when you can negotiate terms. So if you're doing a 30 minute walk, an hour walk, how long you're gonna sit, all of those things. And that meetup is really important because then you can start to upcharge services. That's more advanced stuff and then maybe we'll talk about that in a future video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that. So let's go to my very first meetup and check out Jessica and her two dogs, Quinn and Stella. Let's get into it. All right, so we're meeting my first Rover pups. I'm super excited. They're a cattle dog breed. There should be two of them. And uh, I'm here at the client's house. I'm just waiting for them to arrive to do our initial meetup. Now this initial meetup is not a paid thing. So you have to spend some of your time to go and meet the dogs. And if you are a good fit, then boom, you'll match with them. And with this client, I'm gonna be walking their dogs Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's gonna be a weekly thing. So it's gonna take some time and effort for you to book your clients and um, you don't get paid for that. So that's something to keep in mind. It's been three weeks since I had originally started to sign up for Rover, and this is the first time I'm actually meeting up with a client. Let's hope it goes well. I think it will. Hey. All right. What's up, dudes? You ready? So we got Mr. Quinn here, and we got Miss Stella here. We're gonna hop in the element and uh, go for a little walk. You guys ready? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. Come on. All right, what do you think? Oh, you're just gonna hop right in, huh? Okay. Your turn. Up. Stay. Up. Come on, Quinn. Up. Good boy. Yeah, all right. Sniffing around, you probably smell Toby, huh? What do you guys think of the element? Do you like it? <laughs> oh, Quinn definitely likes that. All right, let's do it.
around here. So Stella is about five years old. She's a good girl. <laughs> and Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Hey, buddy. He's about three months. No, three years. He's a good boy. Yeah. Did you guys have fun? <laughs> I think they did. All right, let's get these pups back home. Well, that was super fun. Uh, those dogs are very energetic, but they're super fun to work with. We did a 2.75 mile like little hike. And as you saw, that trail was beautiful. But now let's calculate and see how much money we made from that walk. I think we made a lot more money than I had originally planned. So we did a one hour walk and we did a 60 minute upcharge. So that works out to $84 per week. So if we divide 84 divided by two, that's $42 for this walk. So that's $42 for one hour of work. That seems really good, uh, especially for something that I'm gonna be doing uh, twice a week, every week. You definitely want to have some sort of experience with dogs. I think it's enough to just own a dog and you'll know how to walk the dog, obviously. But if you're someone who's brand new to dogs, has never worked with dogs, this is gonna be something pretty difficult. So we made $42 on our first walk. We subtract $30 because of the background check. So we netted um, $12 for our first walk and we'll make some more profit on Thursday. All right, so let's check back in on Thursday and we'll continue on with this experiment. All right, so we're on day two or walk number two with Stella and Quinn. I just got them loaded up and we're ready to head to the park. Let's do it. Okay. Good. Come on. Good. Yeah. Go. All right. Let's do it. All right. We're off to the park. Let's do it. It's pretty nice. Like we're just hanging out with these dogs, going on a little walk. So I think if you're a dog person, this is probably a pretty good gig for you and I see a lot of potential for growth relationships with these clients uh, especially clients have like multiple dogs you can really I think you make some decent income doing this as like a little side hustle whether you're living in a van or just you know want a little side income Rover is a pretty sweet thing so far if you like dogs in any capacity it's not a bad gig it is a physical job you have to walk around and like kind of manage puppies you don't need a vehicle but if you're going to travel to those clients you might need a vehicle to like get to place to place unless you're in a city where you can like take a bus or use a skateboard or whatever to get around all right guys water break hey good drink so i had just gotten back to california for my trip in hawaii and I got a request from a friend to watch their dogs and their home. So, so while we technically didn't book these dogs through the Rover app, I did use a marketing technique where basically when you come within six feet of anybody, you tell them what project you're working on. I told my girlfriend and she reached out to one of her clients who needed dog walking services. I'm with these pups for a full week and that's $50 each day and I'm house sitting. So I'm basically at the client's house and I'm taking care of their house and their pets. And they have a really sick, super sweet house. And I'll give you a brief tour of that if you're interested at the end, but this was a good opportunity and I couldn't pass it up. So let's finish this walk and I'll give you a little house tour. All right, we got Toby, we got Cole and Bodie. Hey bud. All right, you're back home. <laughs> so when you're house sitting, you have a bit more responsibility. You have to feed the dogs. So you, you want to make sure that you factor that into your price because it's not just a vacation. You are definitely working. While $50 each day might not seem like a lot of money, it is a really nice house and it is a friend. We don't want to overcharge them for our services. So $50 is a good rate. And then also hopefully they can leave me a review on a Rover, which will help me get more clients. Here you go, buddy. Last one for little Cole. <laughs> so 
So that's my boy Toby. He has to wait for his food. Eat. Good boy. So whenever there's an opportunity to book outside of Rover, I'm definitely going to do it. This was a family friend and I didn't meet them through the Rover app, so it's perfectly okay. Just know that if you meet someone through the Rover app and then you take them outside of the Rover app, that's going to be against their terms of service and you could potentially get terminated from that. So just a heads up, um, but if you do find someone outside the Rover app, definitely book them directly so Rover doesn't get the cut and you get to keep all that coin. So first, let's give the results of this experiment. I was able to book one client through Rover, which may not seem like a lot, but that one client was giving me $84 a month, which equals to $336 every month. In addition to the one client that I booked for the whole week, which brings our grand total to $686 in one month from two clients. So for each dog walk that I was doing, I was getting about $28 per walk. And for the dog sitting, it's kind of hard to quantify because I'm here all day long, but I am getting a lot of perks, a really nice place to stay, and a bunch of free food. So I think it's a win-win situation for both of us. Now, in conclusion, what do I think about the dog walking side hustle? I think it's great. I think there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, I think Rover is a great way to meet clients, but I think if at all possible, you wanna try to network just in your own community. That way Rover doesn't get to take their cut and then you can keep all of the cash that you make. Um, but I do think Rover is a great app, not something you wanna do full time and definitely something that you can do even if you live inside of a van like I do. There is a link down below in the description. So if you wanna try Rover yourself, click that link and you can get all set up. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it or found it informative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I would love to know from you, which side hustle should we try next? If you made it all the way to the end of this video, congratulations. We're gonna give you a quick little house tour of the house that I'm watching. It's stunning and beautiful, as you can see right behind me. This is it. <laughs> all right, let's take a look around this place. So you have like a really nice outdoor grill, um, really nice kind of like Zen garden out here. This beautiful pool, which we can swim in and a jacuzzi over there. And this is a really nice like pool house you can hang out in and there's all sorts of good snacks inside of our friends that we can help ourselves to. So, I mean, look at all those snackies. And then you can continue on to the back. It's got this really nice, like a little Zen garden area we can chill and hang out at and this is the exterior of the house it's super beautiful and i, I want to respect their privacy so i won't show you the inside but you can imagine it's really nice all right thanks for watching today's video guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you found it informative and helpful and we'll see you in the next one peace